I read an article in the Arizona Republic that was written by Guy McPherson. Yep. And my dad pointed it out to me and I read it and it talked about basically the end of the world as we know it, civilization as we know it. And that was another moment in my life where I went, wait a minute, because I had never questioned the way I actually live daily. I questioned who I was. I was a white heterosexual male, but I never questioned about just getting up and how I live my life. And so a friend of mine and two friends of mine, myself called Guy, had a conference call for about an hour. And again, we just listened. And there was a lot of silence on our end because he was saying some pretty heavy shit um, about how you know, this, is, uh, this isn't going to last. And I had never thought about infinite growth on a finite planet. Um, something that seems so simple now, an equation that obviously doesn't work out, but I had never looked at it that way. And so I decided that I could no longer participate in the education system as I know it, and the way I was doing it. So I knew I, I needed to get out of it and I didn't know how. I felt that I was done talking about, about it, about how to change things and, and not actually trying to change myself. I wasn't going to be able to change the world, but I think I could change the way I lived and I just wanted to learn more. And, and so I Googled how to travel the world on a shoestring budget. Woofing came up and I said, oh my God, I can live in somebody's place. They can teach me something and I can work for food and shelter. For me, it was more of like it was a, it's a win-win situation for everybody. I mean, I think woofing is a cool because we help people and they help us, but we don't really have to worry about the whole monetary thing. You yeah. know, I don't want to live my life being dependent on that almighty dollar when I think that there's more to life than that, like what's around us and people. Yeah, and again, it, it, <laughs> once you start racking your brain on this, it, it comes back again to the idea of, of being privileged enough to, to say, well, to I'm going to save up for a year and I'm going to walk away. And um, it's a very privileged move to do, to do this because not everybody can pull this off. I'm trying to move towards the exit of empire. As guy would put it. And I think it's going to take it my entire life. I don't see things playing out the way Guy quite sees them going. Um, I don't think it's going to be a fast collapse. I think it's going to be a slow, painful thousand cuts over time. And it's going to be one of those things where you look back and you go, wow, things were a lot better then. Because when I bring this stuff up to people that are, I guess, not thinking about civilization or collapse, they actually they have no idea that there's a possible, there's another possible way to to do things. They, and why would they? Because all they know is you go to the grocery store and the meat's there and you go to the gas station and the gas is there and you turn on the tap and the water comes out. Um, and if that's all you know, why would you think anything different? And I think you're starting to see things change. I just don't know if they're going to change fast enough.